The manufacturing process of bike sprockets involves several steps, including material selection. The first step in making bike sprockets is selecting the appropriate material. Sprockets are commonly made from metals such as steel, aluminum, or titanium, depending on the desired strength, weight, and cost. The selected material is cut into the desired shape using processes such as cutting, milling, or forging. This step shapes the raw material into the basic form of the sprocket. Machining. Once the basic shape is formed, machining processes such as turning, drilling, and milling are used to refine the shape and create the teeth of the sprocket. CNC, Computer Numerical Control. Machines are often used for precision machining to ensure accurate dimensions and tooth profiles. Heat treatment. To improve the mechanical properties of the sprocket, such as hardness and durability, heat treatment processes such as quenching and tempering may be applied. This step helps to ensure that the sprocket can withstand the stresses and strains it will experience during use. Surface treatment. After heat treatment, surface treatments such as plating, coating, or anodizing may be applied to enhance the corrosion resistance, appearance, or performance of the sprocket. Quality control. Throughout the manufacturing process, quality control checks are performed to ensure that the sprockets meet specifications for dimensions, tooth profile, surface finish, and mechanical properties. Assembly. If the sprocket is part of a larger assembly, such as a bicycle drivetrain, it may be assembled with other components such as chains, crank sets, and derailers. Packaging. Once the sprockets have passed quality control inspections, they are packaged for distribution and sale. Packaging may include individual packaging for retail sale or bulk packaging for distribution to bike manufacturers or retailers.